who do you think won this fucking debate right <sighs> dude <clears throat> i honest assessment like yo trump can lie guys yes let's <laughs> do <dude. laughs> yo like i couldn't i couldn't and it's the same lies that he spits at his rallies all right but here's the thing joe biden also did say some lies like one small lie which is probably attributed to his his oncoming alleged dementia was his handicap <laughs> where yeah which was such a fucking obsession, dude. Bro, and why Trump's... the fuck what, were they talking about golf, though? Dude, like, what has that got to do with anything? It was the most, like, homoerotic thing ever. Like, you can see he is six foot five and only 225 pounds. Or 235 pounds. Well, you said 6'4, 200. Well, anyway, that's it. You're... Anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. You're not six foot five. You're five foot nine. You can't swing a golf club. You got your bones to break. Like it was just <laughs> old people so just giving UFC each other zingers. Dude. Shit talk, right? UFC eighty, Boomer Division, just slinging shit, shit dude. I play golf better than you. Well, I play some golf better than you, <laughs> dude. It's <laughs> as far as a winner. Joe Biden lost so hard. I'd, I'd initially say there wasn't a winner because Donald Trump spewed just fucking ambiguous bullshit. Like, I love, like, that's all that came out of his mouth. Ambiguous bullshit aimed in the right direction. Here's the difference. His ambiguity yeah. was aimed at the right issues, at the right points. <laughs> Joe Biden, right? His ambiguity was like was fucking accidental. Like, I think there was about four moments on that stage where he was, huh? <laughs> we're here. Like, we're at the debate kind of thing. So, Joe Biden, but because he lost so hard, and the loss isn't that everyone is realizing finally that he's, he's not mentally well or not fit to hold office. The loss is that everyone can no longer divert their eyes from these clear incidents of bad health. Because that's all the Dem Democrats have been doing. They just divert their... When he falls, they just look the other way. No, I didn't see it. What are you talking about? From nine to four, he's Electric Joe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so because that's happened, it's such a big loss that even... Oh, Trump won. Trump won. And the Democrats are screwed. If you change Joe Biden now, you're so screwed. If you keep Joe Biden, you're so screwed. <laughs> like, how can he be backing someone to the hill? He's the best thing ever. You don't even have a Democrat convention to elect someone because you just, like, assume that he's the guy. And then three <laughs> months before the election... Go find someone with a better jawline and that can actually string a sentence together. And you think the public is going to fall for that. Whereas he'd still be competing against, yes, an ambiguous bullshitter, but an ambiguous bullshitter that has been in office and has seen results. Yep. So through his ambiguous bullshit, he's got some results. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whereas your smooth talker, go find a 28-year-old person like they did in France, you know, so you can attract all the TikTokers and the OnlyFaners, dude. It's too late, <laughs> all right? You're looking at a, a Trump second term, okay? Take the L and rebuild for the next four years because you're, you're wasting your time. Because the Democrats don't actually have anybody else to come in, right? They Come don't. Do you think Camilla Harris has a chance to be the first woman American president? You know, even if Kamala Harris transitioned, she didn't have a chance of becoming president. <laughs> <laughs> even if she literally stitched on a you mean penis. Her, you mean her first um, transition <laughs> to becoming a woman from a man was not, not a good thing? That, 
no, that doesn't count. It was th- over three years ago, Joshua. <laughs> Please, man. That's so insensitive. <laughs> No, man, so America. You, said, you, 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 you had some pre debate CNN poll reflected that America just thought 45% of Biden would win and 55% Trump would win the debate. Post debate, this changed to about 33% Biden and 67% uh, Trump. And that was you know? immediate reaction, guys, on CNN. Donald Trump's best friend. Everything <laughs> was made for you, Joe Biden. God, God damn it. It just shows you that no matter how much you plan to put things in your favor, you can never, you know, mm. it will never work out. Especially in an hour and a half. That's why these dudes don't do such long interviews. Look at these older presidents like pre-podcast era, right? Because the podcast has put politicians under pressure for an interview, mm. dude. Hey, you don't move until you need to pee. All right? Mm. If you don't need a pee, you're fucking getting up, okay? We're here to talk about Israel, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Prior to that, these dudes were having, like, five-minute conversations. And that five minutes was broken up into two to one. And that was what they were used to. So they had these small little prepared lines where you just throw out a line. And there was no time to challenge it because... KFC's got an advert coming up, and if it doesn't play at that time, we're not getting paid, okay? So stop (laughs) being a journalist and say goodbye to your viewers. And now it's one of those like, hey, turn the damn cameras off, and don't you dare publish this, man. It's like, but so we've been streaming. So what? what, what? (laughs) You know what I mean? So Joe Biden will not survive in this, (laughs) this era. This is not his era. He should have been president in the 80s, like a normal yeah. person. <laughs> yeah, well, you even saw that when he was um, the VP for um, Obama, right? Dude. But again, he's the longer he stays in office, the more he tarnishes his image. Um, I think his image is at a, a peak at the moment, and it seems to have started the decline. Yeah. And... The sooner the Democrats wrap this thing up, the better for everybody. But on a human level, it's sad. His, this condition is a very serious condition. And people need to remember that it is a mental condition. So, You're talking about dementia? 100%. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had dementia there for a second. <laughs> I see you. Hey, you need to just, uh, yeah. For, no for president. But... Basically, it's it's a mental disease, and the person suffering from the disease is the last one to know that it's happening. There are signs that happen, and initially, I'm sure they aren't aware of it. Eventually, they start to pick up, hey, I'm not as quick as I used to be. And Joe Biden had a speech the day after the debate where he was basically telling dudes, I'm not, I don't talk as smooth as I talk to, I'm round about, I'm not as fast as I want. And my thing is, he's going to be the last person to actually admit it. Hence, the people around him need to have some dignity and figure out a resolution around this mess. Don't embarrass the man and fucking pull him now, like a lot of people are saying, but find a nice way to land this one. Because end of the day, is yeah. a human being, um, and he is in his eighties. You know what I mean? Like, oh. So as we like, were saying before, yeah. um, new exclusive news two days ago: um, a neurosurgeon, um, unnamed, um, diagnosed Joshua. Biden with the Parkinson's Joshua. dementia. Joshua. He was saying that the neurosurgeon was saying he was shuffling his gait, the absence of associated movements, facial expressions, arm swinging when he does swing his arms, it appears uh, tilted. Probably because his handlers have told him to I swing his arms. What? When he... No, <laughs> he, when he does swing his... When did he swing his arms? What is this no, guy... This, this, this guy is talking shit, exp- dude. Yeah. Biden doesn't he move. Do- <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't move. He, he's, he's just saying that like... His handlers have told him to swing his arms when he walks. It's something that we all do naturally, but it doesn't go away with Parkinson's disease. That's what he's saying. He's saying oh. that the handlers have suggested to, to Biden to swing his arms so he looks natural. Wow. Because he walks like he's in pain, dude. Doesn't he look like yeah. he's in pain, like his bones are hurting? Yeah, well, that's what I asked you a couple of um, sessions mm. ago, whether or not Joe Biden, what, what kind of drugs Joe Biden is on. 
to get onto these debates. You know, I is it think, the cocaine or is it the crack? You know? But here's the wild thing. We thought we would have seen Electric Joe and, and we saw Declining Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Declining Biden. Anyway, and then the next day, know, yeah. the next day, he was, dude, he had the speech and he was, he was invigorated again. So I honestly think that call it early to mid stages but i think he has good days and bad days good moments and bad moments um because there are times when he's hey he's speaking and he makes it and you're like what are these do these fucking mega people what are they talking about about Biden? what you know and then you you see one fall and you're like come on dude it was a stare and he's 80 <laughs> but then you, <laughs> you haven't seen the other stuff and the debate showed everyone that it showed everyone that and you you can't unsee it can't unsee it so for those who don't know what parkinson's dementia is it's a cognitive decline that occurs in some individuals with parkinson's disease it's a progressive neurological disorder it typically manifests after several years of living with parkinson's and involves symptoms such as memory loss difficulty with problem solving and impaired judgment unlike Alzheimer's disease, which is primarily affects the memory, Parkinson's dementia often involves significant issues with attention, planning, and maintaining tasks. Patients may also experience visual hallucinations and mood changes such as depression and anxiety. The exact cause is not fully understood, but it is believed to be related to the spread of the Lewy body's abnormal protein deposits in the brain. And that's basically the, the crankiness that comes with dementia. Um, anyone that's that's had a parent or grandparent that suffered with it knows the like this uh, a violent temper that can almost like just snap like what the fuck who's like you know what I mean all of a sudden I'm here with that old guy from The Conjuring Two when they're in Liverpool and there's that old guy sitting in the and then haunting the house in the corner please tell me <laughs> you've seen The Conjuring. You bro, I, I wouldn't. I do not watch that kind of shit. Bro. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you. I eat breakfast to that shit. Yeah, yeah, guys, let us know what you think happened with that. Um, it was interesting. Do you think they're gonna swap them out? I don't. Trump's gonna win this thing. Thank you for watching this clip from the OG session. For the full episode, visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel. Whilst you're there, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content. And I'll catch you in the next one.